What's going on guys? Berg's back here once again. Uh, sorry the steering wheel is like right at chin level, but uh, I'm in a different vehicle today and it's it's kind of the only way that it's it's going to work right here at the moment. But we've got another back off, back off, fine cut, original straight. Uh, not what I intended to get, but there's a story by that. Um, anyway, first things first, we'll take a look at the presentation. So it's an all plastic can, once again, stickers for labels, uh, handcrafted moist snuff alternative made in the USA, no tobacco, no nicotine, moist snuff alternative since 1992. The bottom is done up like a warning label, even though it's not, and a lot of it in all is kind of very similar to most of your dip labels. Take a look over on the side, back off straight fine cut, original. Um, no tobacco, smokeless tobacco snuff alternative, net weight 1.2 ounces, and we've got the ingredients, tea leaves, sugar, natural and artificial flavors, glycerin, salt, Walmart, wa not Walmart, water, caramel coloring, sodium benzoate to assure flavor, ingredients FDA compliant, there's a barcode, QR code, Best Buy, June 4th, 2019, and looks like it says ISI company I don't know what exactly that is but anyway Selma Alabama dipstop.com and the phone number and lot number and all that there's some sort of cake tobacco crap on the bottom um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and open it up it's pretty thick label or seems to be um, Especially right around the barcode. It's like extra glue on there. Kind of like what Grizzly does at times. Yikes. Alright, that's quite a scent. Um, oh, okay. Not what I expected and not, not a good thing either. Uh, has It's got a little bit of straight, very, not, not very sweet okay and then if you're familiar with like stoker's natural which i describe as cologne smelling but not good smelling cologne like the whatever the mixture in that that's kind of what i get here very very strong and uh some kind of mixed chemical taste uh, scent rather um, here's your dip. It's very granulated. It's very much, it reminds me of mint snuff, which I despised. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like it really needs a packing, but yeah, packing it down, it, it's kind of in a clump and it looks just about the same. So, wish me luck, folks. Um, taking a pinch of this is not going to be easy. Definitely fine cut. Difficult to pinch because, I mean, fine cut is already. However, in this case, it's very clumped in the can, and then as soon as you go for a pinch, it just all falls apart. Like, uh, with mint snuff, you can at least kind of press it together, where this seems to be the opposite effect. Um, mm, yikes. Well, although it's not a big lip, it'll be plenty. I can assure you that. So, I went in here because I went to Sheets last week or whenever that was. Um, and said, because they have a sign up that they sell back off and you can't find it that many places really. So I said to the cashier, um, what, what flavors do you have? And she said green and red, of course, whatever. So I get, I say, all right, green's fine last time and got wintergreen pouches. So don't I get the same cashier today 
and ask and I said I'll uh, I'll try the red this time then so she goes up to some top shelf behind a, a display sign for a regular dip and pulls out like a, a loose can of this in fine cut straight um, so yeah I was definitely expecting to get the pouches um, if you're wondering why I'm spitting with this it's because I hate the flavor so much that swallowing it and tasting it more is not really on my agenda um so i went ahead and got it this time it was two dollars and 24 cents it's quite cheap and they they do make quite a selection if you go over to the website they make fine cut long cut uh pouches i think the fine cut line is the original um i think they call the long cut something else other than long cut um is it rough cut or is that somebody else? I forget. After I did the last video, I was I was on my computer looking up all kinds of herbal snuff, and now all that knowledge is kind of blended together as I'm trying to remember. Um, however, this is characteristic of other fine cut herbal snuffs that I've had, which is mostly the Oregon Mint Mint Snuff brand. Um, okay it doesn't stay together at all it's a mess i mean the spitter is a mess my hands a mess um it's not for whatever reason it doesn't pinch together like normal fine cut i mean normal fine cuts hard enough to work with but this is kind of all over the place it's a, it's annoying me um it tastes like it doesn't really taste like it smells which is a good thing it tastes very tea leaf like which is makes sense um yeah i want to say it tastes a lot better than it smells so it actually tastes like a kind of pretty not sweet straight so although i'm not really a fan of straight dips the flavor is actually better than the wintergreen somehow i think but the um the fine cut is pretty bad the scent on it is terrible because you know you still smell it as it's going um yeah when you go to spit you get more of that flavor so i'm sorry i really wanted one of these back offs that i was going to come across to be decent but it doesn't really look like it's going to be the case um of course i wouldn't write off the whole brand as being you know something to, uh, to shy away from or anything but um i'm not really enjoying it i'm pretty sure i'm pretty clear on why you know the the cut is pretty pretty poor really i mean you figure i've dipped all kinds of fine cuts down to derringer and uh kayak and all that kind of stuff and i would probably still choose any of those over this uh yeah it doesn't really stay together at all so i really probably won't need to do much spitting of this out because it's it's pretty much all been lost already um ugh. yeah it's kind of glued to my teeth and mouth and just a mess so i would not recommend this okay uh i don't know if it's just how the herbals seem to work but anytime i've had any of them not in pouches i find them difficult to enjoy um whether it you know even even some of the coffee ones it's just it's difficult to work with um because of the, the whatever you know product they're substituting so yeah that being said i think we're going to rate this uh i'll give it a three out of ten i don't know what i gave the other one but three out of ten terrible cut not great flavor pretty pretty awful set awful scent to it price is attractive though cool can design but uh, to me that doesn't really mean shit if nothing else kind of holds up so you know i'm sorry back off i just i haven't been enjoying uh so far 
So, and this this really leaves me wondering, like, what the hell else Sheets actually sells? Do they have the different cuts? Do they not? And it doesn't seem like uh, the cashier I keep getting is really very interested in in assisting me with that search. So, um, I think we'll we'll put back off to rest for now. Um, we'll see if we can come across it later. Um, I'm going to be looking out there for other things to review. We'll see if I need to order in or or what um i have in this area at least where i live right now i've pretty much exhausted the supply of dip i go into a tobacco store look at the shelves there might be 50 products on the shelf and i've tried all of them you know um you know it's very rare for me to come across something i haven't done that i can find in a store so what's left is uh, some of the Swisher dips that probably aren't good, but I would try them anyway, like Redwood and, um, uh, there's, there's another one I can't think of right now. Um, a couple of Klondikes I never found. I've never seen Decade. They probably don't sell it on the East Coast, I guess. Um, and then just kind of obscure chews. Chattanooga Chew, I don't believe I... I did ever do and I have seen it so I will have to find that there's a couple other like Swisher chews I haven't found there's there's plugs that I'll probably never find and twists because you know we have very limited selections of those compared to somewhere like Kentucky or Tennessee where they're actually made um, so and, and and to you know as much as I would like to to try them it's not something I'm probably going to use after the fact, so it's, it makes it that much more difficult to justify buying it. Um, uh, there's also stokers, but the ones that are left, I'm pretty sure, are only available in pound bags, and that's another reason why I don't, um, because buying several pounds of chew to probably not go through it all, or have it have it sit and go bad is just you know not that appealing especially now that they're like 20 something a bag back when back when you get a pound of stokers for like 10 bucks a bag a different story then but um you know today it's just kind of a lot to go to waste and people i know really kind of prefer to dip over chew as well uh so it's it's kind of hard to give something like that away um anyway uh one thing I wanted to touch on too, this is going to be a long video today, but whatever. Um, I did start a dip blog back at the beginning of the year and then kind of never did much more with it. I know, you know, there's probably some of you out there that wouldn't mind reading instead of watching um, or both. So I'm thinking of reviving that. I'll put a link down. It's called The Dipper's Digest. I made a few articles and then just kind of you know it went by the wayside but um i'd be interested to pick that back up a little bit um you know just for something different i'm not 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 going away here or anything but um if you if that's something you'd be interested in uh let me know we can you can suggest some things to me as well and we can i can do them on there uh from a written perspective instead of uh a video perspective so, also make sure to check out a couple of uh, shout outs. I know somebody else asked, I saw it on the email, and now I can't think of their name. Damn it, well, I'll get you in the next one. Um, but, of course, the suit and tie dip and chew guy, he's doing pretty well. I think he's up to 20 subscribers already, so let's, let's get that up even more. Uh, Dirty Pat Walsh, our Canadian connection. Uh, make sure to go subscribe to him, too, uh, if you want to see uh, him paying 20, 30 bucks a can. They do have some different things up in Canada, so make sure you head over there. He also does a lot of uh, music and really just kind of whatever's going on in his day. Um, he he does post a lot of content. I don't always get to watch just because, but um, he's always on, so make sure you check him out. He always watches, which I appreciate big time and uh, shouts me out as well. Uh, so also Winnington Outdoors is full reviews new channel. He's not on too much um, But he is every once in a while still watches me um, Wayside Lee 83 I haven't been able to check in with him too much lately, but um, I know he's a big supporter and make sure you check him out 
and uh, I don't have the channel yet, but some of you that remember Marilyn Dipper 96, he was on here, wow, well, I don't know, a year and a year and a half ago, and um, I was chatting with him the one day, and he said he was thinking about coming back, so when, when and if he does, I will uh, provide a link and shout him out and let you know what his, his channel is going to be. So, other than that, I think that kind of sums it up. Back off, fine cut straight is probably going in the trash, unfortunately. Um, so, it is what it is. You know, I, I try to be unbiased because I, I'm not a big fan of the herbal snuffs anyway, but I try to go in with an open mind and, and just this one. This one didn't do it on, on several levels, so um, it kind of is what it is. And, um, yeah, I guess that about does it for today. Uh, we'll see what we got for you next time. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to those that I shouted out, please. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.